Hello. Do you like to watch birds? I do. I've been watching them for years, everywhere that I go. My name is Marilyn Singer, and I've featured birds in quite a few of my books. The latest one is Bird Singing, Bird Winging, illustrated by Lucy Semple and published by Simon Spotlight. I'm going to read it to you and uh, see how many of the birds you can identify from the pictures and from the words. And then afterwards, we'll see how well you did. Bird up at sunrise, singing. Bird getting hungry, winging. Bird on a tree trunk, tapping. Bird at a flower, lapping. Bird in a barnyard, scratching. Bird by the river, catching. Bird in the grassland, walking. Bird in the playroom, talking. Bird in the ocean, diving. Bird on the ice, surviving. Bird in the air, playing. Bird in a zoo, displaying. Bird with four eggs tending. Bird with four chicks defending. Bird by a mud flat preening. Bird in a birdhouse cleaning. Bird in late summer, waiting. Bird in the fall, migrating. And that was bird singing, bird winging. Now, Let's see how well you did identifying some of these birds. Bird up at sunrise singing. That is a cardinal. The males are bright red. The females are uh, gray-brown, but both of them can sing. Uh, they sing to claim territory. They sing to their mates, and they sing to their chicks. And they really are early risers. I've heard them singing at dawn. Bird getting hungry, winging. This is another early morning riser. It's a blue jay. The males and females look alike, and they don't exactly sing. They yell, and they can imitate other birds as well as other things. Uh, there's one in our backyard that used to imitate a squeaky clothesline. Bird on a tree trunk tapping. Well, if you've ever seen the old cartoons of Woody Woodpecker, 
you'll recognize that this one looks quite a lot like Woody. It's, it's a woodpecker. Um, woodpeckers have really long beaks and really long tongues. They make little holes in uh, wood tree trunks and branches, and they stick their sticky tongues in and they pull out insects to eat. Their tongues are incredible. They are coiled all around inside their heads. Bird at a flower lapping. I don't know if you can see, but that's the same bird that's on my t-shirt. It is a hummingbird. Hummingbirds also have long beaks and sticky tongues, but they don't, uh, well, they do eat a few insects, but they mostly eat nectar, which is flower juice. And um, these little tiny birds are amazing. They can fly forwards, backwards, up, down, and hover in the air like helicopters. And they beat their wings so fast that they hum, kind of like bees. Bird in a barnyard scratching. Well, I'm sure you recognize this bird. It's a chicken. Chickens are domestic birds. That means that people have raised them, uh, in this case, for food, uh, meat, and eggs. Uh, but they have wild cousins. And like their wild cousins, they scratch in the dirt for bugs and seeds to eat. And they also take baths in the dirt, which sounds really strange. Why would you bathe in dirt? But the dirt helps remove... Um, bugs and germs and, and things that no chicken would want to have. Bird by the river catching. This is our national symbol. It's a bald eagle. Eagles are very, very big birds of prey. They uh, catch fish and they also steal food from other animals. They're called bald eagles because they have white feathers on their heads that make them look bald from the distance, but those are in fact feathers. Um, they don't uh, turn white until they're about four or five years old. The younger ones have a kind of brown or speckled heads. Bird in the grassland walking. This is the tallest and heaviest bird in the world, the ostrich. Ostriches live in Africa on the grasslands, also called savannas. Uh, they can't fly, they can walk, and if they get scared, they can run more than 40 miles per hour, which is pretty fast. Bird in the playroom talking. Well, this is a bird you've probably seen as well. This is a parakeet. parakeet also known as a budgie or budgerigar. Um, parakeets live in the wild in Australia, but they've been bred all over the world for pets. Um, and I used to have one whose name was Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick had a tiny little voice and would say, Mr. Nick. Bird in the ocean diving. This is probably not a bird that you would recognize. It has a funny name. It's called a blue-footed booby. It's got blue feet. There's also a red-footed booby. Uh, and it's called a booby because it looks really goofy on land. Uh, it does a dance, raising its feet to attract mates. Uh, but in the air, it's very graceful. And it can dive from as high as 80 feet up, straight down into the uh, water to catch fish. Bird on the ice surviving. This is another familiar bird. It's a penguin. Penguins in the a Antarctic have to face really, really cold temperatures, so they huddle together for warmth. And they also have layers of fat under these short feathers, and that also uh, helps protect them against the cold. Um, they can't fly, but they can swim really fast underwater to catch fish. Bird in the air playing. This is one of my favorite birds. It's a raven, which is the biggest member of the crow family. Uh, ravens are incredibly smart. They can use tools. They can solve puzzles. They play games. Uh, I have seen them flying upside down in the air, and I don't know whether they're doing it to attract mates, to show off, or just to have fun. Bird in a zoo 
displaying. Well, this bird is actually called a peafowl. The males are peacocks, the females are peahens. Uh, the males have these beautiful, beautiful tail feathers, and they fan them out in a big display to attract mates. They, um, they've been bred for many, many, many years as pets and to be kept in zoos, but they're also found in the wild in Asia. Bird with four eggs tending. Well, you've probably recognized that this is an owl. What kind? It's a snowy owl. Snowy owls uh, live in cold areas. They nest on the ground. The females uh, tend to the eggs, and the males bring the females rodents to eat. Most owls hunt at night, but snowy owls uh, hunt during the day. Bird with four chicks defending. That is a red-winged blackbird. It's actually a male. The males have these red feathers on their wings that are called epaulets. They're sort of like shoulder pads. Um, and the females are, are brown. Uh, the males are very protective of chicks. I have been dive-bombed by these birds, uh, thinking the birds were thinking I was too near the nest. Of course, I wasn't going to harm anything, but uh, <laughs> they they would definitely try to hit me on the head if uh, if I got too close to the nest. Bird by a mudflat preening. This is a flamingo. Flamingos do live on mudflats. They make nests out of mud. Uh, they look like little volcanoes, actually. They get their color from the food that they eat, shrimp, things like that. And um, they spend a lot of time preening, meaning that they clean their feathers, they smooth their feathers, and they spread oil on their feathers. And the oil uh, helps with the color, helps the shine, keep the color, and it also uh, waterproofs these birds, which is good because they spend a lot of time in the water. Bird in a birdhouse cleaning. This is another one of my favorite birds. It's an eastern bluebird. We actually put up bluebird boxes and uh, we had them nest in them and raise chicks. And one of the things that they do when they're cleaning is they remove poop. This is chick poop. And they do that to keep the boxes clean, obviously, and to make sure that there are no germs. And also to make sure, probably, that predators don't know where those chicks are. Bird in late summer waiting. In the fall, a lot of birds migrate. They head down south, usually, to um, warmer places and to make sure that they have food for the winter. This bird is a black pole warbler. Warblers are small songbirds. And um, this particular warbler, the black pole, makes the longest nonstop flight over water of any bird. It is, um, it can go for three days flying over the Atlantic Ocean. Bird in the fall migrating. Well, this is a much bigger bird. This is a snow goose. Black pole warblers fly by themselves. Snow geese fly in flocks, and the flocks are pretty noisy. Um, you may hear geese flying overhead. They may, may be snow geese, or they may be Canada geese, or some other kind of goose. So that was bird singing, bird winging, I hope that you will read this book. There are more facts in the back of it. And I hope that you will watch birds and find out more about them yourselves because they're fascinating creatures. Mm -hmm.